Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have five accent decor DIYs for you guys. DIY number one. And here are the supplies that you need for this DIY project. I have a glass decanter that someone gave to me and I thought it was so pretty and so cute. I also have some nautica rope that I got from Dollar Tree and I pulled it apart and I got three strands out of it because I didn't want it as thick as it was. I wanted like a thinner strand and what I did next was I just took some hot glue and I started at the very bottom and I hot glued the rope to the decanter and I went all the way up to the very, very top with the rope using a hot glue to attach it to the decanter. And there it is. And I think this came out so, so, so cute. And as you can see, I went all the way up to the very top of the decanter. And I just took one of my greenery picks and stuck in there just for video purposes. DIY number two. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY. I have one of those glass containers from Dollar Tree, I think. It's one of those that you might um, mix like salad dressing in or put olive oil in or some type of oil in it. Or I think that's what it's for. But I'm gonna do the same process as I did in DIY number one. Start at the very bottom with some juke twine that I got from Walmart. And I'm just gonna hot glue the twine all the way around the bottle, all the way up to the top. And there it is. And I think this one came out so, so cute too. Leave me a comment guys and let me know what you think of these DIY projects with the twine. And there it is. And these projects are so, so easy. I'm not gonna say quick because they're very time consuming, but they're so easy and they come out so beautiful. DIY number three. And here are the supplies that you need. I have one of those plastic mason jars and I got those from Dollar Tree around Valentine's Day. Not this year, but last year. And I never got a chance to use them, so I'm using them now. And I also have some more I, ivory twine I um, got that from Dollar Tree also and we're gonna do the same process as the last two DIY projects start at the bottom and work our way all the way up to the top wrapping the jar with some jute twine I want to take this time to thank all my subscribers thank you guys so so much you know I deeply appreciate each and every one of you and thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome to the family, new subbies. And if you're just stopping by today, hello and welcome. If there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you too can be a part of my YouTube family. Love you guys to the moon and back. Okay, and as you can see, I went all the way to the very top of that one too. And I'm just going to take this fall eucaly eucalyptus pick that I got from Dollar Tree this year. And I'm just going to place it inside of it just for video purposes. But when I style it in my home, I don't think that I'll be putting anything in the vase. And there it is. Isn't it cute? And y'all, what I did was I just put something on um, a movie, one of my favorite movies, and I just went at it. Because like I say, it's a little time consuming, but your projects comes out so beautiful with that twine. 
Okay, DIY number four. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY project. I have some of that fix all, super glue fix all glue from Dollar Tree. I also have one of the plastic planner bowls from Dollar Tree and some of my wooden beads that I got from Amazon. And what I did was I just took some of that fix all glue and that hot, and the high glue and I took a bead and I spaced them right around the outside edges of the bowl and I glued them to the bowl. I don't remember exactly how many I did, but if you create this DIY project, um, it's up to you how you space your bees out and how many you need. And what I did was I lit, I used a little dab of the super glue and I used a little dab of the hot glue for the immediate hole and the um, fix all glue for a permanent hole. And I let that set um, actually overnight so those be beads can be really, you know, adhered to because it's plastic. So I left it like that to sit overnight until it dried completely, like totally completely. And okay, now we're in the paint shop. It's ready to paint our bowls. And those beads are really, really attached to that plastic bowl. So I'm going to use the um, antique white and the caramel. Yes, the caramel, both by Apple Barrel. And what I did was I took the antique white and I painted the inside of the bowl. And I use the caramel to paint the outside and the beads of the bowl. I wanted my bowl to have like a two-toned color. One color on the outside and one color on the inside. And make sure that you get in between your beads and all around your beads when you're painting them. And now that it's dry, what I also did was I sealed my paint because of the plastic. I sealed the whole entire thing with some Mod Podge. And as you can see, it's one color on the outside and another color on the inside. And I like that. And there it is. I think this came out so cute too. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the two-tone, um, two-color accent bow. And those are just some little um, jute twine whatnots that I did just for accent. Okay, DIY number five. And I have saved some jute twine from Walmart. Also have some of that super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree. And some more of that apple arrow paint. And the antique white, the caramel, and the chocolate bar. And I have some scrap wood. That wood that came from, I think it was a broom handle or a mop handle. I cut it to size. And the scrap wood, I also cut it to size. I won't say what size I cut it to because if you do this project, you may decide on what, how large or how wide you want your tray to be. And this is for a tray that we're making. So what I did was I painted my boards in the three colors. Um, two got the chocolate brown, the two smaller ones got the chocolate brown and the four that's the same size. Cause you're gonna need four the same size and two smaller than the four. <laughs> and um, two of them was painted caramel and two was painted antique white. Antique white and two were painted the chocolate brown chocolate bar I'm sorry and you want to let those completely dry and I only did the top of that and the, the top of the smaller the skinnier boards the top and the sides because I'm gonna put glue on the bottom of the board so I didn't paint put any paint on that 
So right here, as you can see, everything has been painted and I took the two round um, pieces of wood and I added some jute twine on the corner on um, both of the pieces of wood, jute twine on each corner. And I'm showing here that everything has been dried and it's time to glue everything together. So what I did was I took and I put a darker color, a light color, a darker color, a light color to create a pattern for my tray. And what I'm going to use is some hot glue and super glue to glue those pieces together. And right here, I'm not gluing it just yet. I'm just placing the wood pieces where I want them to go so I can have an idea of how I, how exactly I want my tray to look. And then I'm gonna hot glue everything together. As soon as I find um, the wood glue, whichever one that I already have open, yeah, I'm going to use that. That one is open. Yeah, let's go with that one. So what I did was I put the wood glue on first. And then I came back. And those places where I didn't have any wood glue is where I put the hot glue. Because you don't want to put your wood glue and then put your hot glue directly on top of the wood glue. Because it's going to cause a problem with it um, attaching your pieces together. Are holding it together And you can see much better right here where I was talking about with the wood glue and the hot glue, not putting it on top of each other. And you want to, after you've got everything all glued together, you want to let it, you know, stand for a while. And I just let mine, um, Overnight, yeah, after I were done with putting it together, I just let it sit there to um, adhere for 24 hours. I wanted to make sure because these pieces of wood, they're kind of heavy. Yeah, this tray is real, real heavy, it has some weight to it, so. And I just took the skinnier, smaller pieces and hot glued on the end of um, the tray so they can act as part of the handle where they are going to act as the handles for the tray. And then I took the wood that was um originally the mop pole the pole of a mop and i just hot glued that on top of well you see you all see what i'm doing <clears throat> i'm kind i get kind of bad at explaining stuff if i had to just explain stuff without a picture Oh my God, I'd be in so much trouble. And now it's the next day and it's all dried. And what I did was, 
as you can see I'm picking up this thing is really really heavy guys I mean it has some weight to it and I'm also gonna show flip it over and show you that I added four of those wooden pieces that you find from Dollar Tree they come in a bag with um, maybe about 15 pieces of wood in it and I also reinforced it with some of those jumbo craft sticks not that it wasn't holding but i just wanted to be sure um because one of the vases has um it's kind of weighty uh, yeah a little heavy so i wanted to make sure that it held up and there are all five of the accent decor pieces and i think this setup is so beautiful and yeah i did intentionally do it so it could be a set a vignette or am i saying the right word should i call it that leave me a comment and let me know what you would say it is is it a set is it a vignette or what it is but i think this is beautiful and i think it would light up any um you know any space in your home and i plan to put it on my living room table as a set yes i do and I really, really like this, guys. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you like it as much as I do. I think this came out absolutely beautiful. Okay guys, if it's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up and also consider subscribing to become a part of my YouTube family. And if you do that, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Click down and hit all YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.